Hey everybody, <clears throat> Matt G here. I wanted to show you something cool I found um, that you can build for $20 um, that all the parts you can buy uh, are right on Amazon.com and if you have Amazon Prime the shipping is free. So it's a uh, it's a gravity filter with a uh, that utilizes a dry bag um, as the uh, the dirty water uh, holding device and then uh, a new type of filter well it's similar to a, a Sawyer Mini but um, comes with everything you need for a gravity filter system so let me get let me show you uh, what I bought here so the first thing we need is is a dry bag so we'll use Amazon here and what I bought was a UST dry bag and I bought this one here and you select the size I went with the 5 liter, the other one is 20 liters which is very large so obviously 5 liters works pretty well and as you can see it's $7.99 with Amazon Prime it's free so let's add that to the cart with Prime it's free shipping the next thing we need is the filter so if you type in VersaFlow and search that you get this here the VersaFlow lightweight water filter system let's open that up alright as you can see it has the 0.1 micron hollow fiber membrane uh, removes 99.999% of all bacteria and removes 99.999% of all protozoan cysts, including Giardia and Cryptosporidium, um, which is the exact same specifications as the Sawyer Mini. So let's add that to the cart. And let's proceed to checkout. Sign in. We'll ship to my address. Free two day shipping because everything is on Prime using that account and place order. All right, Amazon delivers very quickly where I live. Check this out. So, this is what you get with your purchase. You get the called the Hydro Blue VersaFlow um, filter. It comes with the bucket connector which is basically a bulkhead um, bulkhead fitting and a hose clip and the tubing you'll need to create the, uh, the water column and then the UST uh, watertight nylon dry bag. All right, that's all you're going to need for this project. All right, here are the contents of the Hydro Blue VersaFlow um, water filter. Very simple. So here's the water filter itself. It's slightly larger than a um, than a Sawyer Mini, and the uh, expected flow rate is 60 or 600 uh, milliliters per minute which is quite a good flow rate all right uh, it comes with the bulkhead fitting I'll show you how that works here in just a second all right it comes with your your uh, hose clip show you how that goes on and your tubing 
All right, comes with two feet of tubing to create your water column and the uh, the extra hose you're going to use to go down to your uh, your water bottle. All right, next thing then is the dry bag. Pretty standard dry bag. This one's a little more heavy duty than you might want or need, but when you think about five liters of water, it does get pretty heavy. Um, you might be able to find a lighter dry bag out there, but you are also compromising on durability when you're talking about um, the amount of weight it can hold. Why I went with this particular dry bag is twofold. Number one is that the um, the top here is very heavy duty and with my old um, gravity filter system set up with a dry bag the um, this was the failure mode when I connect this and hang it on a tree um, this ripped away from the bag and uh, I had to um, figure out a way of using it without the clipping system for half a trip. So this is the dry bag. It's a five liter. It has a circular bottom, um, which makes it easier for the dry bag or for the uh, for the gravity system. All right. The next thing we need to do is modify this dry bag. All right. Really simple. If you turn it over, you see that it's creased on the bottom. Okay, there's a crease going across right across the middle. Then you're going to fold that again. Alright, so you got it in quarters. And then the last thing you're going to do is just clip out a tiny little piece of the dry bag right in the middle of the bottom where the bulkhead connector is going to go through. And you'll end up with something that looks like that, right in the middle of the bottom of the dry bag. Okay, all right. Stay. You're going to take your bulkhead adapter or your bulkhead uh, connection. And take it apart. You're going to take off one of the silicone gaskets and then you're going to take this piece and you're going to go inside the bag and feed it through that hole. Okay, and it's nice if you cut it kind of small then when you pull it through it's a little tight and you know you're not cheating yourself on the overall you know, waterproofness of of this bulkhead connection here then you take your silicone gasket put that back over all the way down take your connection And I found you really don't need to, to put a whole bunch of pressure on it. This will hold water, no problem, with those two gaskets. All right. The next thing you're going to do is take your bit of hose that came with it, and you're going to cut off six inches because you're going to need a little bit of tubing at the bottom to feed it into your water bottle. And I'll show you what I mean by that in just a second. So you got 18 inches here for the water column, 
and six inches here to go down into the water bottle. All right. Next thing you need to do is take the hose clamp and feed that through. All right. Then you're going to connect that piece to the bulkhead fitting. All the way up. All right. You're going to connect this piece to the top of the filter so that the flow arrow is pointing away from the drive egg. Alright, and then you're going to take your little um, six inch piece and you're going to connect that here. And voila! For $20, you have yourself a mostly lightweight um, gravity filter system. So you go down to the creek or the lake, you fill up the bag. You connect these two guys, you find a little branch to, to hold it up on, you put this down into your water bottle, and you can walk away and make lunch, and uh, you'll come back and it's, it's full. No more squeezing bags. Alright, so, you can stop there, and it's a very effective system, and I've taken it one step further and because I already had some stuff some things that I had for my Sawyer Mini setup I've added just a couple things so the first thing I already had was this adapter I think this um, was eight dollars so it's not cheap but it makes it very simple to use this system also so you just connect that onto the bottom Boom. And then you can take one of your squeeze bags. This is intended for um, dirty water, but this is what I use for clean water. And you put this up on the branch. You let the water column fill. You connect this down here. And you can walk away. This will fill up. And it'll stop filling obviously once it reaches the same pressure that's in the water column and it'll fill up the entire bag with no problem at all you don't have to worry about uh, the water spilling or overfilling um, then you're just using the uh, you're not using the, the the filter to the for the right things right you're you're filtering water but you're letting it uh, drain out of your water bottle because you've forgotten about it or you've walked away and started doing something else all right so let's take this off and I want to show you something unique to this water filter that I, I like a lot um, and that is you can backfill it in the field or sorry back flush it in the field using a water bottle. One second, let me show you that. All right, here's your water bottle. So what this filter comes with is this rubber gasket around the outlet, um, the outlet. Uh, area here of the of the filter. Now it, it serves two purposes. Number one, it has a cap there to keep it clean. And number two, this is designed to create a, uh, a connection here where you can blow air or blow, I'm sorry, clean water back through your back through your filter to back flush it. I think that's ingenious. And I've done it already once with this filter, and it works great. So, 
Um, that's one thing they have a leg up on with the Sawyer Mini. Um, other than the fact that this thing is slightly larger and I believe the the water flow is greater with this. All right, so remember, uh, it's a cheap, cheap, lightweight way to create a um, a gravity filter. So I hope this helps somebody. I, I know this has helped me. I've been doing a lot of research on Amazon trying to create a system that's cheap and lightweight. And I just stumbled upon this um, Hydro Blue VersaFlow um, filter and it happened to have everything that I was struggling to find like the bulkhead fitting and just finding three feet of tubing on the internet or on Amazon is somewhat difficult um, without waiting forever to get it and then these little clips the best I could do was uh, the best I could find for these clips was buying them in a bulk of um, either a hundred or a thousand something like that so being able to buy it all in one kit um, saved a lot of money um, for this build. So, all right. Hope this helps somebody. I'll test it out in the field. I've already tested it out at home. I know it works extremely well. Um, but when I get a chance to get out backpacking again, I'll show you guys how it works in the field. All right. Thanks for watching. Bye.